Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today we're gonna be talking about the San Francisco 49ers as always doing another top three video on a Sunday. This time talking about the three players I think will break out in 2019. So I guess you want to call this a prediction video for the next couple of weeks. They're all gonna be predictions, whether it's from records to statistics, anything like that. All predictions. Should be a fun time. I love doing these prediction videos and hopefully by the season's end in 2019, December, I can get most of these predictions correct. Let's see what happens. But anyways, going to be talking about that, talking about three players that I think will break out from 2018 to this year. Will not be including players like George Kittle and DeForest Buckner because those players already have broken out last year. This year, they can just get even better than they were when they broke out last year. So yeah, going to be talking about that. I want to apologize for not having a video out on Saturday. Yesterday, I had some things going on that day. Better late than never, right? So I'm going to have a video out today and then Monday off and then Tuesday through Saturday. Should be back to my normal schedule. That's it, guys. Let's get this video started. Before I do, please like and subscribe to support my channel. That would definitely help me out a lot. Click that bell notification to get notified of future videos. Share this video. Share this channel with fellow Niner faithfuls. Let's do this. The top three players I think will break out in 2019 49ers. Number three, quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. Last year in 2018, he was supposed to break out and have a fantastic season, but unfortunately, that did not happen. We all know what happened week three against the Chiefs. We'll not be talking about that. Anyways, 2019, if everything goes well, if he's healthy, everyone is coming in, you know, in good shape. I think this year will be his great year in 2019, and he will be regarded as one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL come the end of 2019. Hopefully that happens. That's just a scenario that all of us Niner faithful are hoping that's going to happen for Garoppolo, but hey, you never know. I think it's going to happen with all the talent that he has himself, with all the talent around him, the things that John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan have done for him around his backfield and the wideout position. Like, There's no reason why he can't be great in 2019. He will be great if he's healthy for all 16 games. Garoppolo, was supposed to break out last year, unfortunately didn't happen, cut short early, but hopefully this year in 2019 with all everything goes well, with a great defense as well that's going to benefit him, I think this year should be his year and he will be regarded as one of the great quarterbacks of this year in 2019 come December. Number two, linebacker Fred Warner. This guy, I think in 2019, is definitely going to be showing up this year as our top linebacker. And I think by the end of December, he will be regarded as one of the top middle linebackers in the NFL, along with Bobby Wagner from the Seahawks and Luke Kuechly from the Panthers. I see everything from his tape, his vision, his ability to tackle, actually, because we've had a lot of problems last year with tackling. He could do that. He's very good in coverage. He's everything you want as a linebacker and as a leader as well. I love him. I'm glad we drafted this guy third round overall from 2018 because Ruben Foster, ha ha ha, that definitely worked out right there. He's a lot better than him because he's been healthy all year long. I think he has better vision. He's more intelligent, in my opinion, than Foster. I don't mean to excoriate anything from Foster, but, you know, just everything that he had in 2017 all the way to 2018, getting cut by the Niners, having all those problems off the field, just being injury riddled for his time in San Francisco, like, it was a pretty big disappointment. I was actually pretty upset when everything went down last year in 2018. It is what it is, but whatever. Don't want to get on a rant about that. Warner, anyways, going back to him, he just, ah, man, I don't know what else to say. I'm pretty sure I talked about this guy quite a bit now this offseason, and I just expect 2019 to be a very good year for Warner, just based on his ability and the talent around him as well. Just like Garoppolo, Lynch has really done a lot of moves for him this offseason, getting him Kwan Alexander right next to him, getting D Ford, getting Nick Bosa on the defensive lineman. Warner, I think he can definitely shine this year, and I believe he will for 2019. Before I get to the number one player that I believe will break out in 2019, I want to do a quick honorable mention. Going to be mentioning the offensive line. Yes, I think last year in 2017, they showed a lot of potential to be a great O-line. They had some kinks going on. They were actually pretty good for the run, but the pass protection needed a little bit more work for this offseason. And I believe this year, both run and pass, I think it's going to be very good for Jimmy Garoppolo and company. With them being together for another offseason, Joe Staley, Mike McGlinchey, those guys in the tackle position, they're fantastic. Person and I think Tomlinson, they'll be great, I guess. Person I'm a big fan of. Weston Richburg, he kind of struggled last year a little bit, but I believe this year he's going to turn it up and be a really good center for the 49ers this year. Be a reason why we paid him a lot of money during the offseason last year. So yeah, 
Offensive line, can't wait to see what they do. Let's see if they can project Garoppolo this year. Finally, coming in at number one as the player I think will break out in 2019 is defensive lineman Solomon Thomas. This is probably going to be a weird pick right here, outlandish pick, but I believe Thomas with all the talent on that defensive lineman, I know I say talent a lot in this whole video, but there is a lot of talent in my opinion for this 49er team. Can they get this whole chemistry thing together? But anyways, Thomas... I believe he's going to be a really good player for the 49ers. I don't know if he's going to be the big starter that everyone was expecting when he got drafted number three overall in 2017. Drafted Nick Bosa, I think that was very beneficial for Thomas. He doesn't have to line up on the edge. You got D Ford and Nick Bosa on the edge. Now he can go to his natural position in the D line and do his thing because I've seen some tape of his. I'll actually put some link in the description showing you guys about how he's really good in the interior. He was ranked really high when Robert Salah or whoever was running the defense had him on the edge rusher position. He was not doing really well. He was actually one of the worst edge rushers in the NFL. I don't know, his bend or just something is not working well at the edge rusher position. Putting him on the inside, hopefully they're going to do that. If they do that, then I believe he will break out in 2019. So yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Thomas, I hope he can work something out because, you know, for the most part of his career, he's been pretty disappointing, and I'm pretty sure he wants that fifth-year option for the 49ers come next year. I think that's when it's going to happen. It's a big year for Thomas. Hopefully, he does show. That's it, guys. Please let me know who you think is going to break out for 2019. Please, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below, and if you guys like this, please like and subscribe to support my channel. That would definitely help me out a lot, and I'll be catching you guys up on a Tuesday. I'll see y'all then. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your weekend. Go Niners all day.